Oh, g'day scrappers. Today we've got ourselves here a microwave packet radio. Uh, in continuation with the uh, remote radio unit that I scrapped out a while ago. Um, yeah, so this is the elusive Alcatel microwave packet radio. And a uh, few people have mentioned that the Alcatel have um, a are pretty good things to scrap out so here I've got one and it looks like it's got uh, it's a twin unit so basically um, yeah it's just two units on a on a frame so I'll take them off the frame and we'll have a look inside um, might be interesting circuit boards who knows but the weird thing is is this huge braided line and uh, I'm not really sure what this really does um, inside it's like uh, ribbed um, all the way through it's got some kind of ribbing and it looks like it's silver plated inside but not that the silver is going to be very easily recoverable anyway so yeah obviously um, you know something goes through this um, comes out of it or goes into it. Uh, not really sure if anyone knows let us know. It's really bizarre but You can see you might be able to see the ribbing inside and it definitely looks like it's uh, silver plated and But I could be wrong and Yeah, it's a uh, huge and it just comes up the top here and then it might run into this part here not really sure i'll get this uh, top part off and it'll give us a, a look inside the other side um and i've some of these screws and nuts are really tight so i had to uh pre you know unscrew them a little bit especially the ones on the sides here so that's the box and it looks like it's again their aluminium shield box and some of these screws I had to uh, break out because they were just so tight obviously it's a uh, weatherproof and all that so um, yeah and so uh, good old Alcatel so um, yeah it might be uh, interesting have a look inside so I'll just uh, start taking off this top plate and we'll have a look what's in inside there anyway so yeah so I'm glad I've started undoing some of the screws is uh, I didn't want to be stuck trying to trying to unscrew them and uh, waste video time and stuff so so it should be nice and quick okay so obviously this is a again a uh, aluminium piece here and yeah just sort of it's got this little opening there uh, not much so and in there it's just a like a little chamber that sort of closes in um, so obviously sends something down into there some kind of radio waves or microwaves or something um, pretty high-tech stuff So yeah, you know, I'd love to know what it is if anyone knows and uh, and why do we have that ribbing in there? But it's a yeah, it's a a beautiful piece of braided line. It's obviously just to protect it. Looks like it's clamped here, so they've just put this braided uh, shielding over the the actual tube. Um, 
So this this actual braided part could actually be reused, just have to un unclamp it and could take it out and uh, use this to shield something else. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll see if I can actually take these two boxes off the central part. That might um, make it a little bit easier so we can then open up the boxes individually. There's not much to this really. But yeah, if it's anything like the remote radio unit that I scrapped out a few weeks ago, um, it's a bit windy today. There might be some good circuit boards in here as well. So you can see the two um, sets of uh, connections here. So there's got to be something in it. Okay. So, yep, once again, it's got that little hole there for the, for whatever goes through the microwaves. And so that's it there. So this is virtually just a whole piece of cast aluminium, or it's got a cup, couple pieces. So it just says frequency 708 gigahertz coupling six decibels interesting so the goes into there or comes out of there but if we say it goes into runs through the tube and into the, out of there um, firstly I might see if I can actually split this open um, Well, maybe not. It's going to be uh, the screws are really close to the to the wall here. Um, I'll give it a go and see if I can actually open up, split this open, and, and s might give us a a bit of a look inside. Okay, so I <laughs> took me a little while to get this open, but there's really nothing in it. So again, that's just that central channel and that's just one side the other side and that's it i tried to split it but the problem was when i was some of the bolts are actually corroded so as i was undoing them they were snapping inside so um it's it's obviously been pinned down by the bolts that are still inside i try to wedge it open um very hard because of the bolts but yeah it's just pretty much two pieces of aluminium joined together with a little cavity like a chamber running inside and coming out the side here and here so yeah one entry two exits one for each unit so that's that so it's basically just scrap aluminium and now, so these look like they've been, you know, like um, on site, you know, in situ for uh, quite some time, just by the look of them. Um, so, yeah, so in there is where it's all happening. Um, so I guess all that's left is just to take off the top. Okay. So as I said, I've 
pre-loosened up the screws and the ones that wouldn't come out I snapped them out just to make this process a little bit easier I don't know if the one the ones that I snapped out are actually going to give me any problems doesn't look like it's really thick anyway that should do us Here we go. Oh. Okay. Just a couple more screws under here. That should do it. Yep. Okay. Here we go. I might get a little bit closer in. Okay. Let's do this. So if you can remember the last, uh, the radio unit that I did, well, I'm imagining this is going to be kind of similar, even though they call this the microwave packet radio. It might be a similar thing anyway, although this is Alcatel, so let's go. Quick reveal. Okay, so it's just aluminium. It's not very thick, this one. Okay, so here we go again. So we've got the uh, that filter, the same deal, with all those little adjusted screws and nuts. So it's uh, very much the same as uh, the um, the last one that we did, except it's a smaller, you know, obviously that last one, if you remember, it was huge, uh, just this unit alone. So I'm not going to uh, bother, it's just that chamber in there with the little dumbbells or whatever they are. So I don't have to actually open this up. Um, although we've got some nice gold pins on there. Beautiful. So they're both identical. So I, really I only have to open up one to uh, have a look and see what it's like. And this looks like a nice, interesting piece of aluminium, but need to undo, I think, these four screws, maybe just two. No. There we go. Okay. So, yep, that's the, um, I think it's the uh, RF filter. So, again, it's a beautiful little piece of, mach you know, machined aluminium. And that's where it all enters. And, yeah, you can see inside it's all silver plated, uh, just like the other one. But so much smaller, so much different, but still uh, an interesting one to add to the other one, just as a conversation piece. And so, goes into that little cavity now. I'm not trying to sort of make out that I know what I'm really talking about here. Uh, I don't really know anything about this kind of technology apart from being able to scrap it out 
Okay, so this is a really smooth and interesting piece of uh, aluminium. It's super lightweight. It's almost like, I think it's like aircraft aluminium grade. But there's a board underneath, so... Okay, wow. It's got a lot of screws. There's not much on the board, but I'd imagine it's going to be... Um, don't know, it might be gold plate underneath. It might have a little bit of gold plating. I'm going to have to take off all these little screws and then get into this. So it's mostly just tantalum capacitors on this, black and yellow. Just had to move, zoom out a bit, it was a bit close. So let's see if we can actually remove this board. No, one screw left. That should do it. Yeah. So it doesn't give any indication like that it's anything else but aluminium. But I'm, I'm imagining that this is a, a mixture of uh, zinc and aluminium or might just be straight out zinc okay oh well that's it's a pretty board um, certainly uh, you know as far as it's very low in gold recovery it, although it looks pretty in gold this is just flashing so it's just another one of those boards to sort of like keep as a collectible just something different but it's certainly uh, yeah nothing like the other boards it's just got tantalum capacitors and um, again, tantalum capacitors and not a whole lot else. One, you know, main chip, um, some MLCCs, but that's it. But a pretty board. So um, the other one that I did um, certainly looked better and um, probably even better value than this. And this is an Alcatel, so... Um, not as good as I was hoping, but it's still a very interesting little scrappy thing. So I'll just... I mean, it doesn't really matter... I mean, it's nice to get good value from stuff, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's just nice to um, have the chance to actually have a look. Um, so it looks like we've got little torque screws or something, because uh, I think we can open this up. I can see some gold plating in there. This looks like a pretty interesting little unit. Um... So it's a Excelix semiconductor. Okay. That's interesting. Wow. And to think there's another one. So um, it's just another little board here. Okay, very much the same. It's all, yeah, all tantalum. Tantalum capacitors, gold flashing. So again, not very good, for, you know, high value for gold recovery. So very, uh, you know, identical to that. But, um, very interesting. And that's it. And so we've got a little power board here. And um, yeah, just a basic power board, nothing spectacular there. Another one there, and um, I think that's it, guys.
So we've got this part here. It's, it's you know, a, a beautiful machined piece of aluminium, but there's just really nothing in it. Uh, there's a, like a little window in the middle, uh, that, but that's about it. Not much to that. And that's our bit of machined cast aluminium. Interesting. Might just have a look in that. Okay. Oh wow. It's uh <laughs> wow, well, there's really, really tiny little torque screws in there. And the rest is a one piece thing. It's just got a whole heap of torque screws and I can see some silver solder and that's just gold flashing and it's actually pretty low grade gold flashing a couple of tantalum capacitors in there but uh, wow this is very intricate <clears throat> and yeah I'd imagine the board is only the shape of what you can see because it's a solid piece so everything's going to be um, it's just yeah very unusual can't do much with that really all right well that was interesting let's have a look at what we ended up getting okay well this is pretty much the microwave packet radio and this is one still to be scrapped out now that I know what's in it I might just keep this as it is it's quite a bit of work to get all those screws out anyway because half of them snap but um, yeah so I'll just keep this one as a uh, spare and uh, you never know someone might want it um, or actually Mark Scrapper he might want it back anyway he can scrap it out if he wants so that's the, basically the board we got um, nothing really spectacular it's mostly just tantalum capacitors this it's you know even though it looks kind of flash really all it is is just a mid-grade board you know or a peripheral board this gold flashing means nothing you know um, and the same with this tiny little board although it's a, a pretty little board um, you know good to put in a collection you know as you know if you like to keep this sort of stuff I, I like to keep sort of unusual boards um, got the power board and got this unusual one in encased in cast aluminium and probably one of the most interesting things again is this RF filter and uh, yeah sort of not much to it as you know it's just uh, got little chambers inside like the other one that I did and silver plated inside which isn't worth going for the silver anyway it would cost you more to extract the silver um, and all those little bolts are just for uh, different adjustments and stuff yes so probably well aside from the RF filter the best thing out of it really is just this braided line and uh, yeah it'd be interesting to know what goes on in there with that ribbing and looks like silver plate running all the way through so that's obviously where the microwave kind of comes through um, but just this you know giant snake of a braided line you know is good for protecting other kind of pipes um, or electricals you know pretty high end but uh, yeah so really not much to these certainly wouldn't um, go about buying uh, buying them like to scrap out and thinking you're going to get much value because um, you probably won't even get this tube all you're going to get is just these these boards here so not a great deal certainly the remote radio unit that I did a couple of weeks ago is a lot better than this um, scrap wise um, we did get a bit of aluminium uh, like this one here this is not very heavy at all only weighs you know barely weighs a pound but this one's a good one um, 
got about two and a half kilos there and some pieces here so yeah not too bad but you know we had a look you know we had to have a look at what was inside one of these microwave packet radios and uh, now we know and got another one spare in case I've got nothing else to do and uh, scrap that out or I'll I'll just um, give it to another scrapper all right guys well I hope that was a little bit of fun and uh, not sure what we're going to do next might do a ceiling fan next Keep scrubbing, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.